next guy coming to the stage. All right, uh, let's see. I'm sure he's very funny, and he might be a virgin. I'm just going to tell me to make it up. So. <laughs> he might be a virgin, and his name is Ryan McCarthy. He seems perfectly fine. Give it up for Mr. Ryan McCarthy! <laughs> Why do my legs look so good? Good question. Thank you for asking. It's all in the jeans. Uh, I, uh, my friend, he was killed to death recently. So I, uh, I was at his funeral. They asked me to say a few words, and so I get up there, and they say, uh, "Amphibian, rock, bookcase." I was asked to leave. Um, I, I have another friend who uh, is not dead, and he's a he's a magician. And I, uh, I asked him if he could teach me a trick. And he actually said, okay. So he took a quarter, and he went, and it was gone. He made it disappear. And he said, see? I said, no. <laughs> um, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty skinny, very skinny. Um, but I don't like to think of myself that way. You know, I like to think of myself as the strongest person in a concentration camp, you know? Uh, I don't like I don't like going to the ATM though, because um, there's there's never any money in it. Whenever I put it in my card, it says <laughs> just as it's fish and funds. Like <laughs> anyway, <laughs> drunk driving. <laughs> you know why that kills. Anyway, uh, not a lot of people know this about me, but I actually held a world record for a short period of time. Um, yeah, at one point I was the youngest person alive. Uh, pretty common one, but, you know, take what I can get. Uh, people say that, you know, jokes with props are stupid, but, well, this, this says otherwise. I mean, it's, it's cute. That's cute. Uh, uh, yeah, I want to tell you guys about my experience with uh, deja vu. Deja vu, for those of you who don't know, is when you feel like you've already experienced the present situation. Um, anyway, anytime I put on my shoes, I'm like, huh, deja vu. Uh, I, will, I, uh, I don't know what all the fuss is over addiction, okay? Because if, right, if you have an addiction, all you have to do is knock it off. It's that easy, and here's why, because doing nothing is way easier than doing anything, right? So let's say, for example, you're, uh, you're, you're addicted to smoking, you're addicted to cigarettes, right? To smoke, you have to get up, go in your car, go somewhere, buy cigarettes, take the cigarettes, smoke the cigarettes, right? But if you don't want to smoke cigarettes, here, here's all you have to do. Here's what you have to do. If you want to go get over any addiction, if you want to quit smoking anything, here's what you have to do. <laughs> That's it. It's literally that easy. It's, it's so easy you can do it in your sleep. Uh, uh, actually, do you guys uh, do you guys want to hear a poem? Yeah. 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 I wasn't prepared, but. <laughs> Uh, this, this is an original. <laughs> Two roads diverged in the yellow wood. And I was sitting there with a very blank stare, deciding the road that I should. When I saw a young lad crossing the street, but he should be sad, because soon we would meet. I put my car into gear and said, Jesus, you steer. And then right where he stood, he rolled over my hood. And onto the ground with a loud thumping sound, the boy was gone for good. But alas came a fellow who said with a bellow, I'm calling the cops, understood? He pulled out his phone, but we were alone. So I got in for a verse, and soon I'd be his hearse. And in his red stained attire, he ate his last meal. Attire. I backed over his head, and now he was dead. But for me, that fool prior had made things rather dire, as I could hear sirens ahead. And now I must cope. There's no hope. As I have a poor grip on the soap. <laughs> So I've never had a girlfriend, never had a girlfriend, but uh, I've come close, right? This one time, this, this one time I talked to a girl. Anyway. 
No, but, no, but for real, I actually, I actually found my girlfriend on uh, Match.com, which was um, upsetting, because I thought we had a special. <laughs> That's not. Uh, do you guys want to hear some impressions? Yeah. Great. That's another need I can't say this for. <laughs> Alright, so I, um, I want to tell you guys a, a story. It's actually a true story about something I did a few weeks ago. Uh, not something that happened, something I did, because there's a difference. Right, so basically uh, how it went, I was going to Dunkin' Donuts to get breakfast. And so I get in my car, you know, go down, park, and I'm heading in, and there's a kid outside. He's about 10 or 11, and he stopped me and asked if I could donate some money to his basketball team. So I say, sure. So I give him fiver, go inside, carry on. Uh, go home, and then I'm at home and I'm eating breakfast. And all of a sudden I stop. I go, wait a minute. And I check my wallet. I go, oh, shoot. I gave him a 50. Um, now for a less despicable person, that's the end of the story. Uh, but not for me. So I, I go back in my car. And I go back to Dunkin' Donuts. And I don't see the kid outside, so I partly go in and I see the kid. Now, I don't know if you've ever taken a donation back from a child, <laughs> but it was a little something like this. I, uh, I saw the kid, I pointed him, I go, hey, uh, how much money did I give you? He gave me $50. It was the biggest donation anyone's given me. <laughs> yeah, about that. Do you, do you still have it? Because I, I kind of need that back. I was like, oh, okay. So I take the 50. No, I'm not a terrible person. Um, because I was still going to give him the five I originally meant to give him. And I realized I don't actually have a five, and I'm, I'm not going to give him a 20. So I gave him $3, and I said, sorry, kid. And I left. Uh, so, yeah, see, that's the difference. See, that's what I did. See the difference? It's not what happened. It's like I did that. Uh, all right. If you'll, uh, if you'll allow me to just think out loud for a moment, I mean... <laughs> ah! but that's just my thought process. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Um, I know some, some women like men in uniform, uh, just putting it out there, I am a Boy Scout. So, <laughs> okay, so do with that what you will. Uh, I'll be here after the show. Uh, <laughs> I think there's a lot of differences between men and women, but I think that the biggest difference is that, is that men can't carry a child in their uterus. I'm not a doctor, but I think that's the big one. Um, anyway, I want to tell you guys about my experience with deja vu. Deja vu, for those of you who don't know, is when you feel like you've already experienced the present situation. Anyway, then I just put on my shoes, I'm like, huh, deja vu. All right, thank you very much. I'm Ryan McCarthy.